Hey everyone, Sergey from Mavericks. Got another MacBook here for you in for repair. And we see this is a really nice, this is a A1398 model. This is a late 2013. Um, it's a little bit older, but because the price is obviously on the MacBook Pro, especially for 15 inch or larger screens, they are so expensive. Even the starting price for it is always really expensive. And these ones are usually pretty maxed out. They have really nice settings, uh, especially some of them we've even seen configured with like 16 gigs of RAM, i7, and lots of uh, their bigger SSDs, right? So people like the, the speakers, they like big screen, they like the retina screen, they wanna make sure everything's fine. So a lot of times we still can see these ones in here for like repair, for upgrades and stuff. Why not? Because it's a big screen, right? And it looks really nice. So and now it's obviously it's in here because whenever you press the power button, you actually hear the speakers come on. Uh, it will stay on a black screen. Uh, we see that the backlight is up there because you can see it's illuminated a little bit. Backlight does come on. Um, there's just no display. And uh, for some reason, it just stays on a black screen. Um, I try to hold option key. I try to do lots of things. Uh, it doesn't come up. Caps light key isn't coming up. Nothing's coming up there. So we need to see really what the issue is. So let's go ahead, open it. Obviously, it's something else going on. Maybe the SSD is going bad because it seems to be like it is turning on. I don't see like a faint image or anything else there because usually you can put like a flashlight up to it. Don't see anything there. So uh, it's totally off. So we need to see what's going on. If you hear that startup noise, that's usually a good thing. It means it is powering on. Something else is causing that problem. Now, uh, the information that we do have is that they try to do an, uh, is that the customer did try to do an update and it failed and it's just not working for some reason there usually that can mean it's usually maybe like a bad ssd that's kind of what i'm thinking that's going on there that's why you can't hold option it's just kind of slowing on the whole system especially if there's a short on the ssd it's probably doing something else to it right so let's just open it up take a look at it and see what's going on okay let's just go ahead and open it up see what's going on in there so it looks like it's on power looks to be good uh board looks pretty clean Looks like the LCD connection may have been tampered with from, from before. Uh, that could be a thing too. But uh, let's go with, with what our gut says here, and especially what the symptoms were before. So I'm going to disconnect this here. I also want to disconnect. I also want to disconnect uh, the SSD because the SSD is here. So I'm going to go with that because that's just what I'm going with. Probably makes a little bit more sense, right? If we just disconnect this. Okay, so now uh, let's just test our theory. It's not going to too much there because, right, there's not a, a whole lot else to go into if we just want to test our theory. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to go plug it in without the battery. Should power on still, or at least should like a battery icon, I think, right? Let's see if I can at least hold option this time. Hopefully that and I'll come up. Yeah, see? Okay, so it did come up immediately there, um, like it didn't really before. So it looks like there is probably a problem, most likely with the SSD. We have our test bootable here we can actually use. This one's going to take, uh, oh look, the internet recovery did come up there too. So we do have a tester here. This is for uh, Catalina. Okay, so we have the installed there, and we also have a test which has like an actual bootable operating system. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, and here's our test it actually did come up. Um, now I'm curious just to see about the data. I do have this adapter here that I can use. Let's go ahead and plug it in, connects to the SATA. Let's go plug in our SATA, and then we'll go plug in our thing oh the man this is a <laughs> it's funny because uh the one we have here is a native usb-c one it's always funny to see that this isn't actually a regular uh, usb so i need an adapter for my typical adapter okay so i got my adapter for my adapter for my normal connection and then i have also have an adapter to connect those other adapters to this connection just to create a regular usb so I'm going to plug this in. Let's go ahead and see. Let's see if it turns on. Okay, so I turned it on. Let's see. We should get another disk here. Probably the pop-up. Unless it's not healthy. And that would make a lot of sense because that's probably why it's wearing the thing. Or, or at least giving a problem turning on. Let's see. Go ahead boot here. The light is on. 
and it still looks like it is giving a problem. Now you see the drive actually isn't showing up, so most likely what we need to do, um, if they're interested in the data, we, we go ahead, we, we need to do more of data recovery on that. We need to see um, what's going on with the drive itself, but it does look like that there is actually a bad drive. That's why it's not being detected, even though we have it all connected up and in here. If we could just do a replacement for that, really boot it from there, we can probably boot it on a new OS, make sure it looks good, make sure we can see the drive and everything else. But yeah, that really takes care of it. So if you have this type of problem, especially the black screen, that's usually the case for them, is that the SSD did fail, you just do a replacement one for that. So I want to show you guys something actually pretty interesting here. So I have a few different models for this one, right? So this is the original uh, SSD that we had in there, right? You just look at the shape here. Uh, just, just look at the shape and see actually at the top here, there's actually what? There's nothing outside this row of caps. There's nothing past this row of caps. It's funny because it looks like it's just a dotted line going here. See that? Right? So this is just an extra piece of the board. Now, if we put this in, right, this fits exactly in this place here. Now, we have a newer model, which makes sense. Okay, they want to use a little bit of a different connection. Um, it's not quite the same. If you see that the connection is a little bit different here. So it's not going to work, right? It won't fit. Okay, we understand that. This is made for different models. This one's covered in a lot of models anyway, especially on, on some of the later, maybe like 2015 errors. Even a 2013, there's two models for this one. There's an early and a late 2013 for this model. Um, so you can, uh, so they're, the different ones are going to work. So for the late 2013 through, I think, 20, uh, late 2013 through 2015 MacBook Pros, this is the SSD that you do need, this type of shape, this type of connection. And as well as for the MacBook Airs, um, I know at least 2015 through 2017, I would say probably some of the models, the 13 inch for the 2013, uh, maybe 2014, this one will work. Now, we have this one, right? And this is for a, a 2012 as well as early 2013. This is for a late 2012. I'm sorry, there's two 2012s. There's a mid 2012 and then there's late 2012, which is a retina. So for late 2012 and for the early 2013, you have this type of connection. And it's really, really funny because you'll have a MacBook Air that has this one, right? This is a little bit longer. You'll see it here. It actually looks very similar and almost the same. Now, you're thinking, well, why is that, right? Why do they do that? Why don't they make it like they did the MacBook Air? So later, and the models, they actually did, did make this. Now, you'll see if we put it in this one, right, that this will actually fit in here. There, it fits. But look what goes over. See, it goes over the speaker. And watch, if I'm going to unplug this, Let's go ahead and plug it in. I bet we'll get an operating system to boot right away. All right, so if we plug this in, let's hold option. It should bring up the drives. All right, we just want to be able to see the drive there. And we can see that the drive actually exists. See, and that's the one that's actually plugged in here right now. So this model, obviously, you don't want to do that because you won't be able to close it and stuff. But it looks like that the hard drive really is the problem, right? And uh, we just need to do a replacement for that. I don't actually have one in stock right now for this one. I probably do have to special order one of these uh, to come in because it's a special fit. But it's at least to, to let the customer know uh, what we can do for them. And yeah, for at least a repair. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. I'm talking a little bit about um, an older MacBook Pro, the A1398 late 2013 model. Um, when you get a black screen, you have a problem and uh, it's not coming up to boot any type of OS. You can see that there is a problem with the SSD. All I do is do a replacement for it and make it all up and running.